Especially, I always get a lot of questions concerning how do I read anatomy and physiology, how do I coordinate everything, how do I relate to everything in the book and everything in my summaries and everything, how do I put together a uh, up everything so literally today today i've got you uh especially of course to those people who are very intimate to me who have supported me all this way through i've got you today and literally if there is any new person out here in the room please comment hashtag new in the comment section below and of course let's just dive into this particular kind of glam let's sing a song full of hope full of pain why don't you sing along my friend for it's our last refrain Forever young, ever strong, ever brave Memories like this never end No, they don't fade away So when I'm gone Hi honeys, how are you? Tanya Nishai here for your top tips in the nursing circles Of course for your daily vlogs, fashion and makeup so literally if you are new to this particular kind of glam please consider subscribing and of course let's join me in this glam kind of video i've put together but of course in anatomy and physiology where we are going to be looking at of course the different steps and tricks and tactics you have to use as a nursing student and of course every other person out there stand studying anatomy and physiology to capture your meat into the basket so literally the first thing that you have to always put in your mind just know that this is anatomy and physiology and the second thing you have to put in your mind is that it's not uh hard and the third, uh, the third thing you have to put into your mind is that you can grasp everything so with those three mentalities they will literally help you and uplift you in order to grasp all the concepts so one of my first three uh kind of tricks that i use is that whenever i get this book my anatomy book uh whenever i'm to summarize up something for example i look out for a particular topic or something like that a related topic or a related subject i always love and love to read first the particular section that i'm going to be uh summarizing in my book well, one of the things that you have to always prevent yourself whenever you are reading anatomy and physiology or any other subject that i'm not tackling today is that prevent yourself from copying direct from the book that's the main interest killer whenever you copy direct from the book like something as you read as you read it from the book straight is the same thing or the same way you're transferring it to your summary book it's going to kill your appetite and of course it's going to um shallow up your mind so you'll not be able to grasp that con that concept as it's supposed to be so the best way that you have to do it is to read a particular context that's around 15 lines or something like that try to memorize it down write it on a fresh page it will literally and literally help you because it's the same formula i've been using in order to remember all and all my concepts at a particular moment of time so read and after reading close up the book try to rewrite what you have read from the book that's the only way that you are going to be able to, re to remember most of the spellings and uh, you are going to also be uh, you're also going, going to be able to uh, grasp all the grammar you're also going to be able of course to analyze every mistake that's if you have any mistake in your summary book and of course you are also going to be able of course to look critically at different uh, terms that mean different phases so literally that was one of the first points that i always use I'm going to try to repeat it read first of all the content after reading the content and analyzing it close up the textbook get a summary book summarize the, the content that you have read if you fail please don't read again direct into the book first stretch like stress out your mind to a point that you literally have to remember if you don't remember reopen the book reread the same context at that particular kind of phase and after rereading it re summarize it in the same context you'll have to assure with me that with time you're going to become one of the best anatomy and physiology students that you, you have never expected most and the next important thing when you whenever you're reading anatomy and physiology is that you always have to put into con context drawings so drawings are very important at each stage of biology i'll just take anatomy and physiology to be at the main branch or the, to be the mother branch of uh i'll just take biology to be the mother branch of anatomy and physiology biology even though we started from a very little level when, when we are starting school we realized that we used to draw starting from the bean seed starting from uh, maybe mosquitoes starting from primary school to secondary school where we still even drew 
the whole world knows and people who are very close to me they know that basically I'm not the best drawer of, the, of all times but I try my best so what uh, what are drawings going to help you out I'm one kind of a person who, who whenever I'm concentrating on work I literally put all my focus on the drawing the main purpose why I put all my focus on, on the drawing is that whenever I don't remember the work in the book i always at least remember the drawing i do at that particular kind of content so draw 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 even though you are the worst drawer no one is going to analyze your drawings when you pass the paper just teach yourself to draw when, whenever and whenever you are reading anatomy and physiology that will also uplift and of course uplift your maths with time because you'll be able to relate and relate and relate for example I'll just give an example of uh when we, when we are starting uh, studying the, 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 the course, the course unit, uh, we studied about the anatomical structure of the cell. But literally for those people who knew and who have grasped the cell itself, it was very easy to pass various papers. For example, such as microbiology, where we also had the same question. And anatomy and physiology test, you guys, if you have not seen the, uh, the vlog, I'm going to leave that vlog here up where I read for that paper, go watch that. Uh, they were also able to explain that so if you can be able to draw you can be able to explain as simple as that and whatsoever you draw you can literally explain so draw 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 and of course with time you will have your marks improved and of course uplifted uh, and the last important kind of phase that I find or that I always use as a uh, anatomy and physiology student of nursing first year first semester is that uh, I literally do a little bit more research so literally I put in research not as the main effect but I brought it at last because literally there was an, uh, a reason for that research is very important and very uplifting for every other uh, nursing student in a way that um, Whenever you do research about work you have read or literally work that was, was given to you in the classroom, it always and always and always puts you on point. For example, by the time the next teacher comes in or the next tutor comes in to teach about, about a particular topic and you have done more research and of course you have opened up your eyes and ears and of course every sense of yours to the books and of course to the internet, it, it really really also increases on the chances and on the space that you are going to be able to understand the teacher's work. Though and in most of the time, most of the African schools, uh, especially for nursing, because basically I'm a, I'm a nursing student, I talk for nurse, nurses, uh, teachers or tutors not, don't literally take research as that big, though some of them take it that much. Uh, it's not like in the Western countries where you guys literally are given a little bit more of research to do all the work by yourself, you are given all the particular kind of uh, workload to be able to present it to the teacher, it's a little bit different here. But of course if you can do it, do the research, please do it, do it, do it, it will help you in a single run. Those were the three different kind of aspects I wanted to talk to you or with you guys. Those are the three basic steps that I always use to read anatomy and physiology as a nursing student first year, first semester. They have really helped me, of course, to keep my grades up, to keep on the top of my class, and to also, and also, of course, be able to recognize everything and everything I have to recognize in class. So, Thank you for watching the video. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's if, not, that's if you're not subscribed. And of course, remember to comment hashtag new in the comment section below so that you can get a shout out. I remain Tanya Nishaiwa, of course, and let's meet in the next kind of inspirational kind of video if all goes well. Bye.